I kind of wanted to uh, talk about, okay, so there's different subcultures of the car culture, right? So for example, people are into JDM, people are into uh, like a European market, USDM, you know. But what the Italian market? Italian, yeah. And that's like a very niche one. Uh, it's still a little bit wet here. Yeah, for sure. So, there is one sub subgenre yes. that people don't ever mention. Oh, it's what's that? Electric vehicles? Electric, okay, I think that niche is going to be um, coming up soon, but I don't think there's like, you know, brilliant enthusiasm for it. Electric Just vehicles, right? Naturally, people are going to be gravitating towards, you know, st stick gas cars, right? For sure. It's, just a, very, it's that, a more yeah. visceral experience yep. as someone who likes driving. I was actually going to mention, and this yeah. car, this uh -huh. Honda CRV, falls into the category of Norcore. Oh, Norcore, right? It's a thing that not many people have even heard about. So you, you Google search it, and there's there's not even that many articles about Normcore cars. I feel because as a car enthusiast, oh jeez, give me some space, bro. Okay, so let's bring it down, right? Normcore. Yes. It's more of a, if you Google it, you're going to find things about fashion and clothing. Yes. People purposely dressing up as normal as possible, right? Uh -huh. Very generic stuff, kind of like what I'm wearing right now, right? Just like a t-shirt and jeans, nothing fancy. Yeah. Uh, hopefully these motorcyclists understand that I am giving them space. Yeah. You know? And the blades, the blades are wider now. Yeah. If you see me like cut through the middle, it's yeah. just because um, I, did, I see enough. There's going to be places where I am purposely going to the right a little bit more, not taking the true racing line. For sure, because this is the daytime. Right. right. So, what? The CRV is not going to really appeal to someone. Why? It's not a performance car, clearly, even though, you know, you can still performance drive it. Yes. But in this very niche subculture of normcore, yep. people kind of uh, feel the excitement, or not the excitement, but they feel good about driving a normie car fast, right? I see what you're trying to get now. Now, what? Usually it's out of necessity. Now, I don't, you know, there's two different things, right? You can't yeah. just, like, look at a commuter, they drive, you know, a base Camry or a Camry hybrid yeah. and say that, oh, they're normcore. You know, the act of owning a regular car doesn't make you part of normcore culture. You know, it just makes you have a regular car. Yep. Um, the, the guys on uh, Motor Trends, Finnegan and uh, Freiburger, I think is what their name is, they made a good point. You know, you go out, uh, you commute on the freeway, you see all these cars, yep. and it's like, that doesn't drive excitement, you know, it's just drones. Even if they did have a meet at the parking lot, no one would be able to tell, because it's just a bunch of GMC Acadias and mom vehicles just around, it looks like a regular shopping plaza. Yep. And that's almost the beauty of it, is that if there really was a norm core meet, a norm core car meet, yep. the police aren't going to shut it down. You know, they're not wreaking havoc. There's, you're not really gonna see them do any burnouts, anything like exactly. that. Exactly. It's totally incognito. incognito. You know what? The one thing that would not be incognito about these cars is if they have like track tires, oh, or man. squeaky ass brakes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's the one thing that not normal about those cars. <laughs> it, it would no, yeah. There are certain things that will kind of direct attention, but then you know, you, but it's you, not you as good bad eye for it. No, right? for sure, you have to have a good eye. A lot of people, a lot of drivers I see, they have cars that they don't want out of necessity. Maybe it's Prius, for example, passed on from the family. Yeah. And now this is now your performance car. You are now a Prius main. Yeah. Okay. I don't think that's, there's many people that really buy a CRV specifically to be low key. Yeah. You know, that's a good spot to do a flyby. Yeah. Okay, let me know if you see good flyby spots. So you know the Porsche I think in? You know they simulate gears in an electric vehicle? See, gear simulation, what do you think about that? See, that's a good topic, let's bring that up. Yeah, so, I, okay, I understand like, yes, like, the, like the, you can already tell me. If I want a car manufacturer, you're gonna go to electric, right? Mm -hmm. I totally get it, right? But like the only saving grace it's gonna have, and I wish they could continue with, is it, it's not gonna be the same as a gasoline car, don't get me wrong, right? But if they could at least simulate gear feeling, like if I'm driving a stick, that's good enough for me. See, and the, see, that's the transmission stuff of the CVT, how it just randomly like went up like that. Yeah. There we go. And also like the throttle mapping of this. I'll do like a review of this car, right? Yeah. Just as we're going through. Um, it's, a, it's like an on-off switch, which is not how you're supposed to treat the throttle. 
model um, for most oh. vehicles. More like a... But I am just like, see, oh, sorry. The next time I start flooring it, I'll tell you exactly when. Four. Yeah. And then the transmission kind of like does its own thing. Yeah. So you want like a linear feel, right? Um, for, for, for brakes, it's more progressive, right? Well, for me, like, uh -huh. it's, oh wow, this person, hello. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Dude, he's got a look on his face. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's like, oh. No, he's about it. Look, he has like a... Wrapped Tesla? Yeah, wrapped Tesla. Dude, he was hella smiling. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Because he's probably never seen a CRV. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's what's great about normal culture. If you have a normal car, people like that with a smile. Right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think, you know, happy people will appreciate this stuff, right? Or people who are sensible, they know that, you know, we... Oh, we're caught up to this. It, it looks unsafe to the untrained eye, you know? I'm not going to try to deny that, especially on a road like this where there's no center divider and everyone's using their own judgment and people are idiots, right? It's not like we're going through blind corners or not trying to pass people unsafely, you know? It's just people enjoying their vehicles. Everyone has to share the road. This thing does have trouble, um, you know, with traction on acceleration. It shows how much power this thing has, the fact that it can make its, uh, Copious slip. I forgot the bar is actually kind of quick. Yeah. It is very quick, yeah. There is another video of a nighttime drive, obviously, daytime. I can't show its full potential, potential, but I'll put a link in that. Braking is good, and that's the thing, right? With these SUVs, the brakes usually fade an insane amount. 